Hey guys, it's Becky. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about my good midlife crisis. I am journeying through my 40s and I am trying to get my poop in a group. I'm working on my financial, my physical, and my mental health with a primary focus on my financial health to get started. I did recently post a mental health check-in video and I will link that below. And then I am also planning to start a new physical health journey very shortly, probably within the next month or so. Um, I thought I had one picked out, then I changed my mind, then I might have changed it back. I'm not exactly sure where I'm going. Um, but whichever way I choose, it should be within the next month, so watch out for those. If these seem like something that you would be interested in, I really hope that you will consider hitting that subscribe button and coming along with me. I would love to have you join me on this journey. We can help keep each other accountable. We can give each other ideas. That is one of my favorite things about this community, uh, the budgeting community especially, is how encouraging and uplifting everybody is and how we can get ideas from each other and inspire each other to do things maybe a way we hadn't thought of. Anyway, I really hope that you will consider joining me and hitting that subscribe button. Today's video is going to be closing out my April 2022 budget. <sighs> Y'all, I went a little bit crazy in April and so to be fair to myself I did make two purchases that I used sinking funds for that I hadn't fully funded the sinking funds but then I had such good deals that I couldn't pass up that really I just pulled the money and <laughs> covered like cash flowed my overage that I spent so that's where a large chunk of my my spending came in and then I just had a lot going on my sister's birthday would have been the 26th. My sister passed away five years ago, but I uh, sent flowers to my mom that day and then also went out for dinner that day to celebrate her. Um, and then the next day, <laughs> I forgot to take the pot roast out, or I forgot to cook it. I didn't forget to take it out. I forgot to cook it. So ended up ordering pizza that day, and then we had pot roast for dinner this night. So I've just had a lot of expenses this month. Um, my nephew came into town, and we went to the Ren Fair. I posted a video about that. It's in one of my videos. I'll find it and I'll link that above. Um, so you can watch, there's a video at the end of it where he and I go through the maze. You can watch us get lost in the maze. Um, and then, okay, so the two things that I pulled from my sinking funds are my phone. So if y'all have been watching for a while, you knew I had a sinking fund for a new phone. I was trying to save $600. The phone that I wanted went on sale at Best Buy for only $300. So I went ahead and snagged it. I had $250 in my uh, in my sinking fund for it, so I pulled the 250, and then with tax it was 375 75. So I pulled the 250 and I cash flowed the rest of it and uh, or 2 224 74 something. I don't know whatever it was. I can't remember now cuz it's been a month, but I just cash flowed the rest of it for that and then I bought a case for it. And I bought my O-Snap so I can uh, hold on to it and it's magnetic. Anyway, so that was all part of that sinking fund that I pulled. And then I also, um, my Wondershare, which is the editing software that I use, that I've been saving for. It's a $45 subscription annually for the basic Wondershare. And it went on sale for... Um, $30 for the premium, for the pro, the plus, or whatever they call it, which is half price. That's normally $60 for the year. And since that's even less than what I paid for the basic, I went ahead and bought that early. It wasn't supposed to come out till October. I paid it in April. So that also was an overage that I had to pay. It wasn't very much, but still it was over. Plus the rent fare, plus... So Wondershare, phone, rent fare. It's also thundering. Sorry if y'all can hear the thunder. My poor dog, my Emmett. Oh, I also had a very major expense for Emmett this month, but that's not in April, that's in May. Um, one of my dogs, my German Shepherd mix, had a mouth infection and we had to go get him treated and he had to be put under to do a deep clean and they found a mass in his mouth. My poor baby, he's doing fine now. He's happy, he's on antibiotics and a mouthwash and he's good. Uh, but that cost, you know, over $500 at the vet, so I had to pay for half of that. Fortunately, I had started a pet sinking fund, um, which I did not have $250 in. But I did have some money in there, which was more than I would have had had I not started that. So, if you're thinking about starting a sinking fund for something, you should probably go ahead and start that sinking fund. Okay, this is my This Page Overview. I'm going to bring us to my Where Did My Money Go tracking so we can look at the percentages. Then we'll look at my debt that I've paid off and um, 
I can't remember all the pages, so I'm only going to do a couple of pages. This book has, she is so thorough, which is so awesome for yourself if you're tracking your finances, but for the purposes of doing a closeout video, it's just, it's a little bit too much detail um, for doing a closeout video. So I'm not going to go over all of the pages with y'all because a lot of them are repetitive, but let's get into it. The first page that I want to go over is the first couple of pages. I want to go over my uh, paycheck tracker. So this is when I get paid and I do my budget by paycheck. I plan it with y'all. And then as I go through that paycheck, I go ahead and I write out what I actually did end up spending. So for paycheck number one, which I received on April the 1st, I was paid exactly what I budgeted. I had a little bit extra rollover, so I ended up with 1806.27 for that first check. I think all of my bills were exactly as expected. They were. And then, see if I can get this up here. Sorry y'all, because of the thunderstorm, it's super dark and gloomy, so I have this ring light, and I know it's it's in my way. <laughs> and it's also uh, making shadows and weird lighting, so I'm sorry about that. Um, so my groceries, I went over in groceries by like $56. I went over in dining out by like 30 something dollars. I went over in fun money by $50. I went over in gas by $32. My contacts were the same and my ecclesial expenses were $100 less. So I did end up spending not quite $100, like $80 more than I had anticipated spending, which is not fantastic. So, but I still had $900 left to work with for my sinking funds and my extra debt. So for my sinking funds, this is, I believe, where the new phone, yes, yeah, so I budgeted $50, but then I ended up putting $146.75 in here to cover the full cost of the phone and the accessories that I bought for the phone. Everything else should be right as planned. I did put $20 away for my credit card interest, and then I'm just going to pick up my book and hold it, sorry, because of the where the light is. Hopefully it's still in focus, I don't know. I'm sorry, y'all. This is a mess. Um, I put away exactly what I planned for my 52-week savings and for my sinking, my emergency fund. I only had $50 to roll over, which stinks. And I spent $66 somewhere that I have no idea where I spent it. Um, I just know that I, I don't know where it is. I can't find it. I keep track of everything electronically on YNAB, and so I know that it's all accounted for because I track all of my transactions, but I don't know. I could not figure out where I spent that. Um, by just looking at numbers. So that was my first check. My second check was again, well it was a cent less than I, I anticipated because the last couple of checks have been 1708.48 which is what I said they should be because it was weird to me that they went from 1708.49 to 1708.47 to 1708.49 to 1708.47 I couldn't figure out why they weren't 1708.48 and now they are so I don't know. Uh, Seth paid me exactly what he should. I only had $50 of rollover, and then I got a check for $200 from my previous car loan company for the gap insurance, and I talked about that in my Plan With Me, Budget With Me video that I posted last week. Um, I did look it up. Gap insurance is paid up front when you pay, when you buy a car. It's either included with your down payment or it's in your first month's payment. Um, and since I did pay on this car, I paid the down payment and I paid the first like year's worth of payments. This refund for the gap insurance is actually mine. I just wanted to be fair. And if it belonged to Seth, if it was something that like he's been paying on for the past couple of years, I wanted to give him that check. Um, but it does look like it's something that I actually paid for. So um, I used a hundred of it to cover all of my overspending in this check. Um, this is where I overspent for the Wondershare. What did I do here? My telco loan? I don't know what's going on with these loans. Well, I do know what's going on, but I'll get into that in a minute. So, what else did I overspend? Y'all, I just went crazy. I just went crazy this last, like this month, was just insane. I can't, I still can't see the bottom of this page because of this lamp. So, dining out has spent another $126. Groceries has spent another $130. Only $60 on Arclesial. Put my contacts away. Ren fair, I moved that to my fund. That was 50 bucks. And flowers for my mom, that came out of gifts. I added another $88 to my gifts. I spent an additional 30, almost $31 on gas. And then I got my hair cut, so that was $37 more to my self-care fund. I'm just, I just went crazy. 
These, I think, were all the same. Wondershare was over because I went ahead and paid for the full subscription. And then everything else, I believe, was the same. So, my loans that I have, I have my debt consolidation loan, which is this loan, that is supposed to be $167 a month, and then I want to pay an extra $333 because I want to be paying a total of $500 a month toward this loan so I can pay it off. But because I'm paying it, I'm paying extra on it, it's now saying that I don't owe anything. So it didn't dra automatically draft anything on the 25th, and then I had to log in and pay the full 500. Seth's car loan is financed the same way. It's supposed to auto draft $270, and then I'm making an extra $55.42 to continue paying the $325.27 that we were paying. Um, but because I, because I'm overpaid, it only drafted two fourteen forty three, so I made an additional one ten eighty four instead of an additional. So it's just, it's the same amount of money. It just is coming out weird because of I'm because of the way I'm paying it. So now my loan is saying I don't owe anything still, and this is saying that it's going to auto draft even less next month than I paid this month. But whatever, it's it's all being paid, and then. Uh, my 52-week savings were $53, as always, and then I had only $33 for my rollover. And then my third check, I'm not going to go into, because even though this is technically an April check, and I did decide to put it in my April calendar, I really did not, this money all went toward May, and I didn't even count, like, my extra, extra debt payment, I didn't even count that in my April budget. So these are just my expense trackers for the month. Like I spend a lot of money. I make a lot of transactions. A lot. The next page that I want to go over is where did my money go? This is where you total up all of your income. And the way she has you do it is you take whatever you started the month with, your income that you earned, any additional income. So my additional income is that $200 for the ally check and then the hundred dollars, I'm sorry, the four hundred and twenty dollars that Seth pays me for his car payment and insurance payment. Savings used because I pulled money out of a bunch of different places this month for the phone and for the uh, Wondershare and for I can't even remember where else I pulled it from but I did track it all. I used three hundred and sixty dollars and fifty three cents. Most of this was the phone. So my total inflow was six thousand seven hundred ten dollars and eighty four cents. And then here is what I spent. This is pretty typical for me. Um, there's a little bit extra in the savings used because I bought the phone, which was $300 plus the case, plus the OSNAP, um, plus taxes and stuff. So, And then Wondershare was in here too, which was only $30. So most of this here, but that's only 6%. So my um, what I really like to focus on is my percentages here. And I paid 13.80% of my total inflow toward my debt. So I'm on track. I am making progress. I am getting there. And then I paid, where are the, I put 7, almost 8% towards sinking funds and savings. Where are savings? These aren't, I didn't color this in, so I can't see it. Savings are pink, but this isn't colored. Savings, there we go, 6.9. So that's what, uh, 8 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14 ish percent that I put toward savings goals of my total monthly inflow. So I'm happy with that. 14% there, almost 14% to debt. I'm very happy with those percentages. Um, I don't really do this because my budgeted changes throughout the month because I try to be consistent, but it doesn't work out for me. I'm not very good at that. Um, and then here, is the breakdown and if you watch last month's closeout uh, this is the debt and savings breakdown so if you watch last month I hadn't filled this bottom part out because I was so used to this all being credit card debt um, but I did fill it out this time so you take your total monthly inflow and then the total month uh, total amount that you paid toward debt so 13.8 percent of my total income went toward debt and 500 of that, so a little bit more than half of that, went to my consolidation loan. 35% went to Seth's car loan. And then $100, so 10.81% went to the credit card debt. I did make an additional credit card debt payment, but it was out of the third check. And since I'm counting that for May, that didn't count on this total. I think I technically made that 
out of May. Um, but anyway, so really there was 200, but whatever, I'm only counting 100 of it. And then for savings, for savings she only has you count your total monthly income, so just your earned income, I guess, or should I have counted... Maybe I should have put that other 200 and Seth's check in here too. I don't know, but I didn't. So <laughs> uh, $4,036.96 is my total monthly earned income. I put $1,048.23 of that away for savings. So that is 20, almost 26% of my earned income went towards savings. I'm very, very happy with putting a quarter of my income away. That makes me, I'm so happy with myself. Um, so where I put that is into my emergency fund. I put that into my sinking funds, my budget mom savings, and my 52-week challenge. My budget mom savings, I have decided that I am going to take um, April and May, and I'm going to use that toward my birthday. I might take May and June. I'll see, I'll see how May and June go. But I'm going to take two months and use that for my birthday spending for my, my uh, mani-pedi, massage, dinner, I'm going to do that. And then whatever's left, I'll put back in there. And I believe at the end of the year, my plan is to put that money toward my new car fund, unless anything urgent comes up. Like I know Emmett has a dentist, a doctor appointment tomorrow with the vet. Emmett is one of my dogs and he um, needs to get a deep clean. So they have to put him under. He's just about a hundred pounds. So we have to pay for his anesthesia. We have to pay for his boarding. Um, and then of course the cleaning and they may have to pull a tooth. They're not sure yet. So We'll see, but he's got that coming up tomorrow, and so I, I know that I only have $100 in my pet emergency fund so far. I just started it, so we'll see where I am with these challenges at the end of this month. I'm not sure if I'm really going to be able to save as much because I need to cover the vet bills. The next page that I want to go over is my debt repayment, so I'm very excited about this. I have three debts that I am working on. I have the Chase Amazon card, which is the last credit card that I haven't paid off. This is the one that's in my dad's name. And then I have my debt consolidation loan that I took out to pay off all the rest of my cards. And then I have the car that is in my name that I don't make payments for. My friend Seth is making those payments. So these are the three debts that I have that I am making payments on. And then I forgot to write down the interest rate. I think this is 18% for the Chase Amazon card, 18 something. I meant to look it up, um, but then I forgot. And now, like I said, I'm on my lunch hour, so I don't really have time to go find it now, but I will write that in. And then when I do next month, I'll have that number available. Um, so I can do that. But the minimum payment that I make every month is $100. Now that is not the minimum that is due. The minimum that is due is very, very much less than that. It's like, $30, $40, I don't even know. But I always make at least $100 a month payment on that, and that is my main priority that I am paying that one off first. My debt consolidation was $7,000, $7,033. When I first took it out, starting this month, it was $6,572.10. That is a 6.55%. The minimum payment is technically $169, uh, $166.99, but I asked them when they do their auto draft to do $167. Again, they're not doing auto draft on this one because I've overpaid it so much already. Um, but technically, my minimum payment should be 167. And that is my second priority. That is what I want to work on. After I've paid this off, I'm gonna put this $100 into here and instead of $500 a month, I'm gonna make $600 a month payments for my debt consolidation loan. And then order three, it's Seth's car loan. Again, this is with my same bank. I have the same interest rate. It's a little bit higher um, because this car was paid off and I used it as collateral for a consolidation loan. This one still had a balance. This was a transfer from Ally Auto to my bank for a um, for an auto loan at a much lower interest rate. So the minimum payments for this one are $269.85. Again, that's not what they're auto drafting because I've overpaid it so much, but this is my third priority. Um, when I have finished paying off my consolidation loan next year, I may start making extra payments on this and just keep track and then as Seth pays me, I'll just put that money back into my account just so I can get this paid off faster and get everything out of my name, but I have not decided how I'm going to handle that yet because next year is uh, a year away and I don't know what everything's going to look like, what my priorities and what my financial uh, situation will look like and I might have another thing I need to worry about at that point and not be able to do that, but for right now, 
this is my third priority and I don't make this payment, Seth makes this payment. So I made the minimum 269.85. That's what they auto will are supposed to auto draft out of my account if I wasn't so far ahead. So then extra debt payments, like I said, I make a minimum of $100 toward Chase, and then at the end of the month, I make an additional payment if I have any extra money, and I was able to make an additional $100. Again, that didn't show up on my last page that we just went over because I made it out of my third check, um, so I didn't count it. The debt consolidation is this 167 plus 333 is 500, and I'm making $500 a month payments. And then Seth's car loan, so the way we decided, um, we agreed to do it, is we would keep the payments that he was previously making, even though the interest rate is lower, so the payments went down a little. But it was two, I can never remember, it's 237.25 or 237.25 or something like that a month. Um, uh, 27, so yeah, four. 234, 27 a month is what uh, the payments are. So it's an additional 5542 on top of the 269.85 um, that we make every month. So these are my additional payments. So we have my minimum payments plus my additional payments. So here is, and I forgot to put my total debt payments. I didn't write that down. But at the beginning of the month, at the end of last month, the beginning of this month, my total debt balance was 15738.11. At the end of this month is 14769.53 which means I have paid off $968.58, which is less than what I paid, but then I have interest, so that would be why. So I have made, I have paid 5.61% of my total debt. And then if you do it from the beginning, when I first started tracking, I had $17,250.65. This month, again, uh, $14,769.53. I have paid off so far since February $2,481.12, and that is 14 point, almost 40% of my debt, and I am very, 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 very happy with that, and I will say that I do not think I would have made that much progress if I hadn't done that debt consolidation loan. So I acknowledge that debt consolidation loans are not for everybody, but for me, they seem to be, it seems to be the best decision I have made yet, <laughs> so I'm very happy that I did that. The last page I want to go over with y'all today is going to be comparing this month's spending to the previous month's spendings. Um, so my subscriptions are significantly less in February, but more than last month. So I'm not sure if that's because of the way subscriptions fall or if... Because I didn't start... I mean, I did start one new subscription, but it was for $10.81, and I canceled one for $7.00 something changed. It should be like $3 more, not $26 more. So I'm going to have to look at that and see why this is $26 more, but I will look into that. Um, I made slightly less on my debt payment, but if you look at this number, 10 25 27 and 9 25 27 that is because that $100 that I made in extra debt to, um, to Chase Amazon is not included in here. So it would have been the exact same amount if I had included that $100. Groceries stayed pretty consistent. Again, I budget 300 for groceries. It looks like I might need to up my grocery budget. Oh, I don't want to, but I think I might have to. Um, dining out is significantly more than last month, but last month I was doing the no spend. It is significantly less than the month before and about the same as January. So I'm going to say that this 250 is probably going to be my average, but we'll see as I go. Um, they can't all be March. <laughs> So we'll see. Though, y'all, I went to Chipotle with my bestie this weekend, and I'm not going to go into details. I'm just going to say that it will probably be a little while before I go to Chipotle, and it's nothing disgusting. It It's not like they messed, they didn't, there was nothing wrong with the food. I don't know, because I didn't get any food. Um, so that was my problem. I was just angry, and they still haven't resolved it, and just trying to get to somebody who can resolve the issue that we experienced has been almost more frustrating than the issue that we experienced. So this number might go down because <laughs> I'm not going to be ordering Chipotle for a little while. I won't. I don't know how long I'm going to be able to stick to that. But for at least the next, hopefully this month, I won't go to Chipotle. Unless they fix my problem, then maybe I will. 
Ecclesial expenses, I only spent $110. Gifts and giving went up, but that is because I sent flowers to my mom. I think that's a large chunk of it. That was over 60 bucks, so that's a big chunk of it. And then I, I know I bought, um, my nephew asked me to find a basket. He wants me to make this, like, it looks like a hot air balloon thing um, for the baby shower for baby Joe, but that's, again, not until the end of the year, probably September, October, because they're due in November. Um, but he sent me a picture and I was able to find a basket. So that includes that basket and the flowers I sent to my mom plus the normal giving that I do. Gas, again, this includes extra for Nathan. So this was very low because I didn't drive anywhere. This is very high because I filled Nathan's tank for driving. So I don't know what my average for gas is. I went from zero to 60 to 23 to 93. Like I have no consistency in my gas. I don't know what I should be budgeting. <laughs> Household items, I don't even know what I bought, but whatever. My budget is 50. I spent 50 87 I'm very happy with that because that's definitely less than it's been. So I'm happy with that number. Pets is right on average. Again, I bought the dog bed, so that put me over by, by about $15 because I budget $50, so that put me just a little bit over. Fun money is over because I went to the Renaissance Fair with my nephew and um, and I went to like three movies last month, so that's a lot of popcorn. Uh, so anyway, I don't I do not mind spending that money to spend the time with my friends and my nephew because, as I mentioned before, quality time is I think that's my love language for like receiving. Giving is gifts. Receiving is quality time. I love spending time with people I love. So savings. $408. I'm very, very happy with that number. It is not the highest number, but it is a good number. I'm happy with it. $29.12. I don't know what this was. Healthcare. I don't know. Something I bought at HEB, probably. I did get contacts this month. I did use $420.27 of my sinking funds. My utilities and bills were very quite high. Not the highest, but much higher than last month. So, I don't know. Reimbursable, I covered sixty-seven thirty-seven of that because I haven't gotten, I haven't seen my mom and a movie I paid for some friends to go to a movie. Um, budgeting, I only spent five twenty-seven on budgeting. Last month I spent twenty, which was good because the month before that I spent seventy-two fifty-five. So I'm seeing a good trend. It will go back up. But my friend Kay um, made her own envelopes and shared her template with me, so. I think I'm going to be doing a cash stuffing envelope, a cash stuffing video right after I film this. I'm going to film that before I go back to work. Um, and that will have my original envelopes in it. But hopefully by next month, I will use case template and create some cute, um, some cute envelopes that I can have and do cash stuffing with. So we'll see. Watch out for that next month. And then self-care, I did get my nails done twice. Can y'all see that? I got my nails done twice, and then um, I also got my hair cut. So I budgeted 100 but then I did go a little over because of my hair cut. That's all I have. I'm going to go ahead and end on... I've, I'm not going to go over this because this will be in my next one, but look at we're making progress on our savings goals, y'all. I love coloring this in. This is so satisfying to see this go up. Anyway... I hope y'all had a great April. How did it go? Were you able to save? Did you spend as much as I did? Did you spend less than I did? I really hope that you spent less than I did. <laughs> I hope y'all are having a fantastic day wherever you are. Don't forget to give this video a like on your way out, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye!